All right, hello guys. Um, today I'm just gonna show you how to create this cool stitching effect. Here, um, this is the stitching with scan lines. Um, you're going to need to uh, download a picture of scan lines or pattern. Um, I suggest the one from Deviant Art. Um, and you can really do the, the stitch text on any background you want. Um, I'm just going to do this plaid background here. And I'll show you guys how to get that too. So uh, let's get started, I guess. Um, Alright. Let's just do. Alright. Start off with a 800 by 600 or whatever size you want. And how to get the. Um, the special magic gradient here, I'll show you. Um, it's right. This one. It basically looks like that. And um, I'll show you guys how to get it um, from scratch. And you could use a filter or try a more difficult way. Um, it will take you a very long time to do it, so I'd suggest just getting the filter. It's a very useful filter, um, and it's pretty cool. So, uh, it's in your gradients. Um, okay. Let's see if I can pull this up here. Um, it's right here, gradient from image. Um, I also have a uh, sample gradient along a path, too. That also helps me. But we're basically just going to use this one. And uh, how you do this now, you start off. Uh, with a with render clouds solid noise and you go X size all the way up Y size all the way down detail up to 15 choose a new seed just click OK now in your palette maps right here your palettes um, you want to Find a good palette that will go along with it, um, good exchange of colors at the top. You're really only looking at the very top pixel. So let's try bears, let's see what that looks like here. So we'll go colors, map, uh, palette map. And that looks a little bit too, like, I don't know, like, just, yeah. we'll try that. So we'll do it. Um, gradient from image, you want to check this, this, uncheck smooth gradient, and we'll go with bears. Sample transparency, no. And there we go, now we have it in our gradients here. So then you may delete your original here, go with your gradients tool, choose that one, and just go down like that. And it looks a little weird right there. So, I'm just going to use a different one. I'm just going to use the reds and purples. Because um, that works very well. So, let's get going here. Wow, oh, already four minutes into the video. Alright, there we go. Now, once you have this, and you should duplicate it and take your flip tool and flip it horizontally. Then, Go to your bottom layer, turn the visibility off on your top layer. Go to filters, distorts, ripple. In your rippling, you want to choose horizontal and choose for your go about um, I think 70 ish and about 1. And that gives a pretty good effect. And then just repeat that once. Um, now, um, go on to your second one, you show it, and choose vertical. Okay. And then repeat that about once. Now just choose overlay for your mode, and then merge it down. Now you can then go Curves if you want. I'm just gonna make it a little bit brighter. 
kind of like it. It's a little bit dull. Let's use that here. Now, what you want to do is start with your stitching. So, go into your text tool for color, choose white size, depending on your image size for 800 by 600. 250 is a good number to use. And for your font, you can choose whatever. Um, I go with a script, I believe I downloaded it, um, Brush Script FTV. Our brush script standard, my bad. Um, and we'll go stit, oops, stitch. And now, actually, it's pretty good. Now, go layer, auto crop layer. Go to your align tool. Click on that. There you go. Center it. Do whatever you know. Um, do that. And then duplicate it and put one at, at the bottom of the um, background there. Now on this one right here you want to choose your rotate tool. Actually duplicate it once. Choose your rotate tool. Go 45. Rotate. And on the other one that you didn't do, rotate it negative 45. Now duplicate each one Duplicate number one once and duplicate number two once. So you get this. So now start at the top and go filters, distorts, wind. For wind, you want to choose blast. And I think I'll keep it at 10 and 10. That's pretty good. Just click OK. For your next one, you can reshow it to the right. For your next one, you can repeat it. And the one after that, we show it, change the direction again, to left. Merge down your first two layers, and merge down your second and third layer here that you have, or your whatever it was. And now, so that you have two of them that have wind from coming from both sides, and then take a rotate tool, rotate them negative number of what they just were. So I'll do that one negative 45 and I'll do this one right here. 45. And rotate. This gives you kind of a cool cross hatching effect and I like that. Now we're going to be creating our mm, kind of effect here. Now you can go to filters, um, decor, add bevel. And you could do this. Um, I don't like to, so I'll just do um, chiseling, which is basically the same thing. Um, it's hard edges instead. And then choose. So let's go about like 20. Two. Mm -hmm. 15 is pretty good, actually. Then you can merge it down. down and then lock the up channel filters blur Gaussian blur and I'll do five why not repeat that a couple times well, that's good now what we want to do we want to add those um, scan lines so what I'm going to do actually right now I'm going to go filters distorts or filters noise my bad spread just gonna spread it by five right away, I guess. And just go about right there, pretty good. Now we need to add those scan lines. So do a new layer. Choose those scan lines again. Oops, they should be in your patterns. If you download the pattern or just insert the image. Pretty much like this. And you can do alpha to selection on these. There, select, invert, delete, and then basically choose what was it? I think it's overlay, and you can duplicate that once, and you get a nice effect there. Um, well, 
merge the visible layers once you turn the two bottom layers off. And then filters distort or er, filters noise spread. My bad. And spread it not by five this time, but by about two. Mm. Yeah, two. And that's pretty much it. Then you can merge these two down right here. Um, go to the new layer, transparency, put it under the first layer. Click alpha to selection, go to your new layer, select grow. Grow it by about, oh, let's say 20 pixels. Now take your gradient tool and go foreground to transparent. Make sure your foreground color is black. Go like that. That's pretty good. Select none. You can do it. Eh, I'm not going to. Uh, filter blur, Gaussian blur. Blur that by about 20. Blur it. And then you may lower the opacity on it a little bit. That's pretty good. Thirty-five around there. Pretty good. Then that's pretty much it. You're pretty much done. So you make flat your image. There you go.